Back in NFL prime time. The Giants upset the Broncos last week. Could they keep it going at home against the Chiefs? Rich Gannon sacked by Chad. Put a couple of Broskis on the grill. Ball loose. Gannon. He's ruled down but hurt on the play. Left the game but did return. But while he was gone, Elvis entered the building and he was all shook up. Pass picked off by Percy Ellsworth. He could go all the way for 43 yards. 7 nothing. Jubert. Giants lead 14-0 second quarter. Kent Graham, 3-1 and one as a starter. Batted by Tom Bart. And to Graham! Oh, he's Johnny on the spot. The guy can do everything in this last Great game. awareness by Kent Graham here as he gets the ball batted back at him. Has the presence of mind to take it, and he's a better athlete than you give him credit for. Gannon hands off to Bam Morris. Slam Morris. Stopped by Jesse Armstead. Giants take over on downs on the Chief Gamble, fourth and one. Gary Brown. Banner and Allen. Up the middle for 13 yards. That's the Vinny end zone, isn't it? It should have been. A, never mind. <laughs> Gary Brown doesn't matter. He gets in for a touchdown. Third consecutive 100-yard game for Gary Brown, who had a buck three today. Third quarter. Michael Strahan. Sacks Gannon. Next snaps. Leaves game. Giants go on to roll the Kansas City Chiefs. 28-7. Four interceptions by the Giants defense. Four sacks, and folks, the Giants are still alive. They can actually make the playoffs. If they continue, well, they'll need some outside help. We'll explain in a moment, but they go into the last weekend knowing they are still alive. 100-yard game for Gary Brown.